Bus drivers are on the front lines of this pandemic every day, doing their jobs courageously and unfailingly in the face of what's going on. Among them, a man named Jason Hargrove. He was 50 years old. He was a bus driver in Detroit. On March 21st, he was driving a city bus when a woman got on and coughed multiple times, not even trying to cover her mouth, according to him. In a Facebook Live post that went viral, Hargrove laid out his frustration that people are not being more cautious in the midst of this pandemic. Listen to what he said. Hey, look, listen, man, let me say something. <clears throat> this coronavirus is for real. And we out here as public workers doing our job, trying to make an honest living to take care of our families. But for you to get on the bus and stand on the bus and cough several times without covering up your mouth and you know that we in the middle of a pandemic that lets that 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 lets me know that some folks don't care utterly don't give a f excuse my language but that's how i feel right about now for a grown person in her late 50s early 60s to stand on the bus and cough four and five times without covering up your mouth. And you know we in the midst of a mother crisis with this coronavirus. I am pissed the off. I ain't blaming nobody. I ain't blaming nobody but the woman that did that. I ain't putting the, I ain't putting the fault on nobody else. For us to get through this and get over this, man, y'all need to take this serious. It's folks dying from this. Listen, it's folks dying out here. Well, just four days later, after he made that video, Hargrove began to feel sick himself. He died Wednesday night. Detroit's mayor says his death did not have to happen. But if you haven't seen Jason Hargrove's post on social media and Facebook. Everybody in Detroit and everybody in America should watch it uh, because he was infected before we closed the front doors. And he tells the story of a passenger getting on the bus and coughing on him. And some of his language is graphic, but I don't know how you can watch it and not tear up. He knew his life was being put in jeopardy, even though he was going to work for the citizens of Detroit every day, by somebody who just didn't care, somebody who didn't take this uh, seriously. Uh, and now he's gone. Glenn Tolbert is the head of the Detroit Bus Drivers Union, joins me now. Uh, Glenn, my condolences to you uh, and, and to uh, Mr. Hargrove's family. Do, do you know how exactly Jason Hargrove co contracted the virus? I mean, is it known if it was from that person or, or before another passenger? Um, at this time, um, I don't know that. Um, I, I had a chance to speak with his wife, but obviously it was un out of concern for her and not trying to get a lot of details sure. just to let her uh, DDOT family, ATU family was with her. And um, that we uh, support and we will be supporting it through the next coming days, months, years. Um, for her and her family. You know, we talk a lot about, about uh, medical workers as being on the front lines, but, you know, bus drivers, delivery people, people who are, you know, working jobs still, that they interact with people every day, you know, custodial uh, folks who are, are you know, clean, helping keep things clean. I mean, the, these are the people who are also on the front lines just as much as as the medical personnel in a pandemic like this. What do you want people to know about what bus drivers are facing? Well, what I would say then, thank you, uh, uh, Mr. Anderson, for this opportunity. Um, that Brother Jason, transit workers all over the, the United States and Canada, my ATU brothers all over, the, we're hearing this all over. Um, I will submit to you that we see more sick people than any doctor, that we are the first responders before the first responders, because we, we pick up the sick 
taking them to the hospitals. We pick up the grocery workers, but we're never in that conversation. And it's, it's a shame that it comes to this. It's beyond shameful that it comes to this before we can get some some real help and some attention to this problem because transit lives matter also. Are, are bus drivers um, given masks or gloves or anything? Well, um, on I'll say on, on the 17th of March, my membership uh, had enough. They um, they were putting their lives at jeopardy enough and they, they staged a mass, um, a mass walkout, if you will, to get the sanitation of the bus. And we were able to shut it down for a whole day and have the, the fleet thoroughly dissanitized and cleaned. Um, um, on retrospect, I'm looking at it and that's not enough. We're getting masks, but they're running out. You know, they're, we can't get them sometime, which is a shame. And my members are not going out there without masks. I mean, we need masks, we need gloves. They're giving us gloves. It did take the shutdown to get that, but we are doing some things now, which is shameful that the people that are, you know, that are entrusted to protect our lives when we go to work every day, that it has to come to something for Brother Hargrove, Brother Jason Hargrove to pass. And, and my other seven ATU union members around the country in Canada to pass before yeah. we do something about this pandemic. Oh, Glenn Tolbert, I appreciate what you're doing and um, we'll, we'll keep in touch. And, and uh, I, I, you know, I, I, I'm not gonna make the same mistake of, of not recognizing uh, all those folks who are not really on the front lines of this. It's uh, the front lines are now everywhere in a lot of places and I appreciate all you're doing. Thank you very much. Uh, New York oh, now warning. You. New York now warning the